Hey internet, today I wanted to film a video on how I store my stickers. I know this is a video that I personally find very interesting and I love to watch how other people store their stickers so I thought I would share with you guys how I store mine. But more importantly, I've just found a different technique, which I think a lot of people in America use already, but it's just something new to me because especially I don't have access to the same tools that a lot of the Americans have, say stuff that you can find at the container store or Walmart. We don't really have those sort of stores in Australia, so it takes a little bit more improvising to try and figure out the best way for us to store them here. So I thought I would share it with you guys, tell you where I got everything. So if you happen to be in Australia and want to store stickers in a similar way, then you can. So I store stickers in a multitude of different ways because I have a lot of stickers. So I have a desk, which I'm using right now, and I use this desk for pretty much everything, but I can't store all my stickers on this desk. Otherwise I would have no desk to use. So stickers that I use very often, I tend to store in this book, which you guys seen I've done a sticker flip through video which if you go back into my videos you'll find it otherwise I'll link it down below where basically I take sticker sheets and I put holes on the side and I stick them in here obviously not all sticker sheets have the extra white bit to punch holes in so I put little strips in I think I'm gonna film a video on how to do that too because I've had a lot of questions on how I make this it's really really simple but I think just sometimes having a step through video to show you visually how things are done makes it so much easier than to try and visualize it in your head so I'm really happy I'm happy to do that but yeah so these are all the stickers I use the most another way of storing stickers which I still kind of use is uh, little these uh, filing ex expansion folders I have no idea the exact correct terminology I always just can't think of the word when I'm filming videos it's the pressure of the camera but basically I use small ones like this to travel with because it's really small, easy to use and you can just flip through easily to the stickers you want to get. So I love using it for this. The only problem I have is sometimes you can see the stickers kind of bend around at the bottom. That really irritates me. It doesn't necessarily damage the stickers too much, especially if they're matte. So I just learned to live with it. But I constantly have to pull them out and straighten them up again. So just keep that in mind. So over time, as I started collecting more stickers, I would use larger filing containers. So this is one I got from Daiso. By the way, I got this from Daiso. This is obviously Kiki K. Um, this is another Daiso one. It is uh, much wider, but it's still also quite narrow. And then I got this one from Kmart. This is like $4. These are like $2.80 each. So, I mean, they're all pretty affordable. And I really like this because you can let me just open it to show you they're empty now because I've uh, transferred all my stickers to my new storage solution but I thought I would show it to you anyway so I love how it's just got lots of different compartments so you can put stickers in here and just have like these are my travel stickers these are my drinking stickers these are like whatever label stickers so I love that these were the main ways I was using to store my stickers I mean obviously I had a couple of little containers I'm just gonna show you a small one here I've got like a little tin of sampler stickers that I get from Violet because she spoils me that girl spoils me with all her amazing stickers so I have like a tin which this is like a Maybelline tin I got my beauty blog from PR so I thought it was perfect to just store some sample stickers in it oh. I'll show you one more way <laughs> this was another way I was storing stickers this one is a folder from Officeworks it's kind of a zip around folder and then in it I have little like plastic sheets and in each plastic sheets I would store say like travel stickers coffee stickers whatever I would theme them and then I would be able to just flip through when I opened the zip around envelope but I obviously don't use this anymore it got a little bit crazy because if you store too many you have this issue where it sort of starts to bulge a little bit and I've got two of these and the other one is like pretty much broken like down here just fell apart but these ones are from Officeworks the envelope itself like the whole zip around thing I'm not sure how much that would be I'm gonna guess like maybe five to ten dollars but I know that each of the plastic sleeves inside were like 90 cents so it's pretty affordable it's not too bad but when you get a lot of stickers it's just not very feasible because it's hard to see everything you want so that was how I used to store stickers I don't really use I don't use this anymore I don't use that office works plastic zip around wallet anymore I still do use my book I use this for travel I keep this I keep these two pretty much on my desks at all times so I can reach into them every time I'm decorating on the go 
So the main way I source stickers now is using these really great accordion files from Kmart. I love them so much. They are so cheap for $4 and colorful and plastic, which means easy to clean, keep clean, all that sort of good stuff. So basically the way I use them is I will buy multiple of these. I'm going to show everything to you afterwards. I just want to walk this through because I have to then move the camera away from my desk and I just wanted to walk through what I could whilst I was still on my desk. So basically I have multiple of these. I have a massive drawer now which I stack these in because as I mentioned before these like you can expand these so that they're like pretty much flat here flat here so they can if I just pull it just try and pull it here there you go it stands on its own which is pretty cool and so you can have like rolls of these in a drawer and just pull it out and have your own filing cabinet so basically the best way I found to do this is if you don't have very many because my drawers are quite deep what I do is I bend this lid back like this and back here so it's almost like the lid is its own standalone I don't know if this angle is working for you guys but it's almost like the lid stands on its own at the back and then this is flat so it can sit on its own and then I can put the stickers through here so I don't know if that makes sense but I'm actually gonna show you guys how I do this the alternative is when you get too many stickers which is what I've done for my own like sticker collection I have one drawer for stickers I have a happy cloud ink which I'll show you now and then I have another drawer with my own stickers that I've been purchasing that drawer is a lot fuller which is why I've had to cut the lid off basically I I know this pains me to do but I just cut the lid off. Little accordion files now sit in a drawer so I don't have to worry about dust or anything getting on stickers. So I take the lid off, throw that away and basically now I have a little filing thing that sits on its own which is pretty cool. So let's go over to the drawers and I'll show you how I store them. Okay so I'm actually sitting on the floor right now so sorry if the audio sounds different and the angling is all weird I'm gonna have to change it up quite a bit but basically I'm on the floor and this is the drawer I was talking about. I bought this one from Bunnings. It's Oats Smart Storage. It's the large single drawer. I don't know if you can see it there clearly but basically it acts like just a drawer just like that it is quite big I mean you can see my hands in comparison so it is quite large which does mean you can store a lot of stickers in it so basically how this works for me is that here's a little expanding file that I had I think it's a lot clearer now what I meant by how it sits on its own rather than just a, a folded up piece and you just put it right in and I know there's quite a bit of space here but I find that to be actually quite good because I can store stickers that maybe don't fit here and then you basically just stack them. Cool. I just changed the angle because I wasn't sure if it was very clear from that angle. I've just never filmed from this position before from the floor. I'm usually always on my desk but I really wanted it to be clear so everyone could see what I was trying to do. But yeah, so basically you put them down like this. As I said, if you don't have very many stickers then maybe cutting the lids off won't make much sense because otherwise these are going to fly around everywhere so for example for my own store stickers I've kept the lid I've bent it backwards and it kind of acts a little bit like a stabilizer so as you can see it makes it really easy to just flip through the stickers you can even put little labels on here if you want this is like the best way I found so far to store my stickers and have them easy to access I love just being able to flip through and then find exactly what I'm looking for I'll show you I'm going to put all my files in so you see what it looks like. Oops. This is what it looks like. This is like all my inventory for Happy Cloud Inc. so far. And this is how I store my stickers. That's pretty much it. That's how I store my stickers now. I've got two drawers that I mentioned. One for my store and then I have another one sitting over here to store my actual stickers. Although those ones are getting my other drawer is getting pretty full as it is I've had to cut the lids off for all of them and there's quite a few of these in there so I don't know if I need another drawer but I don't want to get too crazy with it let me know if you have any questions about any of the items I bought or if you have any other ideas that you think would make storing stickers easier I love being able to pull this whole box out and then just being able to flip through and then when I'm done I can just pop it back in here and then I don't have to worry about dust settling on it or getting dirty or anything like that. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful. And that is about it. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet.